everyone, thanks for joining me today. Um, this video is giving you some information about the perineal massage. My name is Dr. Yvonne Ling. I'm a naturopathic doctor, a doula, and one of the team members with Your Downtown Doula, a doula and healthcare professional collective here in Toronto. And so let's start with the basics. Why do we want to do perineal massage in preparation for childbirth? Well, by massaging the area, you are increasing circulation and elasticity of the tissues. And ultimately, after childbirth, if there is injury, it will help the tissues um, heal better. There is some studies to show that perineal massage, um, you know, leading up to childbirth and even during childbirth at the time of crowning can also help reduce injury to the perineal area, meaning reducing the need for stitches, which can also then contribute to a more smoother recovery after childbirth. Now, I know it's one of these things that many of you might be putting off or really reluctant to do, but I feel it's really quite important in terms of preparing for childbirth and should be just as important to, as all the other relaxation exercises you might be doing um, when you're preparing for labor. And so when should you start to do this? You should really start thinking about doing this around 32 to 34 weeks. Um, if you kind of put it off too late, so for example, sometimes I meet clients who are, you know, as late as 38, almost 39 weeks pregnant when they start, the baby is really quite low, feeling more pressure, you know, in that kind of cervix, pubic, vaginal area, and also with the changes in hormones, the whole area might be just more sensitive making it a little bit uncomfortable to do the perineal massage, which then can be quite discouraging. And so the earlier you start, the better. Okay, so I have with me this model. So this is the pelvis, the bony pelvis. And so if we were you know, to lie down like this, officially the perineum includes all the tissues and structures in this kind of diamond shaped here. And so what we're looking at here is, the top here is the area of the clitoris and the urethra. The bottom area here is the area of the anus. And then this here, this is the opening of the perineum, which includes your vulva, right? The labia, um, the opening of the vagina. And so when we're massaging, we're massaging sort of this lower area here, the entrance of the vagina here, and we also want to massage the internal muscle area, so it's not just the skin. And so to begin, make sure that you're comfortable. Um, if you have a hard time reaching down there, if you feel a bit awkward doing it yourself, definitely have a partner help you. And I like to tell couples, you know, have fun with it. Right? It does not have to be clinical. Definitely try to, you know, have fun with it or be relaxed about it. And of course, partners, you want to have short fingernails, remove your jewelry, and of course, always have clean hands. It's also very important that you use some kind of lubrication. So some kind of like food grade oil, such as like olive oil or um, almond oil, even coconut oil, just make sure it's liquid at room temperature. In terms of positioning, you can be um, squatting. So for example, if you're in the bathroom, you could be um, squatting or you could have like one foot up on the bathtub or a stool or you could be lying back on your bed with lots of pillows make yourself comfortable you could also be side lying and try to reach that way with one leg like with, with one leg up that sort of thing just find a position that you feel would be most comfortable for you and so to get started if it's your first time doing it just start with an external massage. You can do a flat hand external massage just as a way to kind of, you know, warm up and get familiar with the area, that sort of thing. Anytime your pelvic floor or this area is, you know, being touched, notice how your body responds. And if you notice that your body is tightening, then that's definitely a note to you, a mental note, that you really want to work on relaxing this area. And so do breathing exercises, play some nice music, you know, that kind of thing. And so, yeah, you do this sort of flat massage to warm up the area, but eventually you do want to do some internal massage. So using your thumb or your first two fingers, start by placing your fingers or your partner's fingers 
like so. And then you would slowly ease into the vagina. Okay, please do not simply just approach this way. You really want to kind of slide into the vagina like so. Do your breathing exercises and um, make sure you feel comfortable. And then using a steady gliding motion in a sort of U shape, right? So you're thinking about like a U shape this way. Okay, you are then gliding up one side to about two thirds of the way up and you're inserting to about the first um, knuckle, okay, to the first knuckle or knuckle and a half because we do want to massage that um, internal muscle layer. So we're going about two thirds of the way up, come back down to the beginning, apply a bit of downward pressure and hold that for 10 seconds. And then you repeat on the other side, right? And then coming back down and hold that for 10 seconds. And you sort of want to repeat this sequence for about 10 to 20 minutes. Um, each time you do the massage, like with each subsequent session, you want to apply a little bit more pressure, right? So you can do a bit more pressure um, towards the side, at the bottom, and again on the other side, always kind of maintaining a gliding motion. And go at your own pace, okay? No matter how little or how much or how much perineal massage you do, there is always a benefit. In terms of frequency, um, there is actually a study about what's you know most effective and the good news is you don't have to do it that frequent in order to get the benefits. So the suggestion is anywhere between two to four times a week for about you know 10-20 minutes per session. Um, so I showed you with one hand Alternatively, you could also use both hands. So for example, your partner could use both hands where you're simultaneously, so either with one or two fingers, but you're simultaneously massaging up the side and then coming down. And as you apply more pressure, you might actually feel a bit of a stretching or burning sensation. And that's actually good because then you'll practice breathing through that. And with repetition, what happens is um, that sensitivity will actually be decreased. Okay? And while you're stretching and massaging, you're actually increasing elasticity. Right? So sometimes people get a little bit worried about over like stretching things out, that sort of thing. That's actually not the case. So again, go at your own pace, um, give lots of feedback to your partner if your partner is helping you, and um, definitely focus on relaxing. And so that's the perineal massage. I hope um, this video was helpful for you and good luck and have a healthy pregnancy. Have a great day and take care.